Hey my ghastly ghouls, today I'll be doing the best runs for Yarrick in the current preseason. This will be ordered in the most consistent form for the first one I'm talking about, Grasp, to the last rune page which will be still very viable and good, but a lot more niche, yeah? Okay, so let's go over the first one, alright? Grasp. You can never go wrong with Grasp, it gives good damage, sustain, a lot of strong early game trading power, right? Very effective if you Q, you know, when you hit a minion, and then you auto it, uh, you know, you just kill the enemy while you're ordering a mini and it'll really shock them and they'll be like, what the fuck, and it does a shitload of damage. It scales decently as Yark builds a lot of health and it'll give it more damage. Um, it doesn't scale as well as other runes, but it's still really, really good, alright? So now look on the secondary tree, Demolish. I think Demolish is self-explanatory, helps Yark break towers even faster, making even stronger in the split push, alright? Let's move on. Now this part is the super flexible part, but I'll go over it really fast and explain why they're good, right? So conditioning, if you're winning, uh, if you're confident in winning early game, and you want to carry hard in the mid and late game, this is your best option, alright? Second wind, poke matchups against like Jays, Cannons, stuff like that, very amazing. Now bone plating, it's against more all-in champions, people who want to do short combos on you, so uh, Camille maybe, Fiora, Trindamir, stuff like that, alright? Now the last part, pretty flexible between overgrowth and unflinching. Um, you can go unflinching is amazing because it gives you tenacity. Tenacity is always good in tank champions like Yorick, and it's amazing, right? Um, I highly suggest going over uh, unflinching over overgrowth because most of the time you're gonna want tenacity against a lot of CC, yeah. And Yorick struggles against uh slows and CC in general because he's immobile. Now the second part. It's very flexible. Um, my preferred page is Precision, uh, going Triumph and Bloodline. I like Triumph because, you know, it lets you um, clutch fights out later on, which is really, really powerful because you want to be 1v2ing, 1v3ing on the side lane. Bloodline allows you to sustain without beating any lifestyle items. Yarrick has very little sustain, only Q, and most of the time it just gets outscaled. So having this and not needing to build lifestyle is absolutely amazing, right? Now, you could also go Tenacity for with a combination of Unflinching for 50%, but I think it's overkill in my opinion. You can, of course, go with Mercs for some crazy Tenacity, uh, but most of the time it's better to just run this and Merc Shreds, right? So, yeah, not my kind of thing. But if you want to, go for it. Now, you can go to the secondary page with Inspiration. Um, Inspiration is incredibly flexible, but I'll go over the ones that are really, really good. Uh, so, you can go Biscuits and Time of Tonic. This will give you lots and lots of strong early game. With Corrupt Potion, it gives you one of the strongest early games as Yorick as possible, right? Because you're going to have a lot of potions, a lot of health and mana to work with. I don't like this because um, all of this sort of gets outscaled and also... If you do this as well and sell current potion, you're missing. You're basically missing a room, which is something pretty wacky, right? Now I'm just gonna uh, highlight every single one of them, which is flexible. So this, you know, this, 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 and this are all amazing runes on Yorick. Uh, you could go to other ones, but they're not as good. But yeah, that's about it. Let's move on to the next page. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna be moving on to the next room page. All right, Conqueror. Conqueror is a much more extended fight sort of rune. You're gonna abuse it really hard with the Conqueror bug. Um, I'll show in a. I'll put it somewhere in the video. Uh, you can click it, check out the bug. It's really, really important if you're gonna go Conqueror. And if you don't use this bug, then you are not making the most use out of um this rune, right? So, Conqueror gives you a lot of damage, sustain, just overall strength in long fights, right? You know, it's really effective because when you get stacks with Conqueror. It also gives you Ghouls and Maiden attack damage. Uh, when they deal damage, um, you get the healing from Conqueror as well, which is really, really nice. Triumph is really good as well because it gives you uh, Sustain, which helps you clutch out fights. And it's really nice, right? Um, you can also go Overheal, I guess, as well. But this won't help you clutch out fights. But it will help you in 1v1s, which is really nice. Um, I don't like Presence of Mind, but... I guess if you're struggling with mana, you can definitely go with it, I guess. But 
do know that if you do go any of these other rooms, um, your 1v2, 1v3 will be a little bit weaker, yeah? Now for Legendary, I go Bloodline. Bloodline's really nice because it gives you sustain later in the game, so you don't need to build it, and you can stay on side lanes for a really long time, and it's beautiful, right? You can go Tenacity as well if you get a lot of CC, but not having sustain in a, later in the game feels really, really uncomfortable. Now the last part, it's a flex between Coup de Gras or Last Stand, but I usually go Coup de Gras, and I'll explain why. Okay, so, with Coup de Gras, it will always be effective when you're killing someone, right? Because it just requires the enemy to be less than 40% health. When you're killing someone, they'll, they'll eventually have to fall below 40%, so you're going to get use out of it. But Last Stand requires you to be low health to use it, right? In a lot of fights, you might not be low health at all. You'll be over 60% or something. And when you kill someone, but when you kill someone, right, you will always, always get value of Coup de Gras. So that's my reasoning behind it, right? Um, now let's move on to Secondary Tree. Secondary Tree, I always go Demolish. I don't think I need to explain why. Tower. Boom. Works well with your right? right? Um, now this second, this part is really, really flexible. If it gets a lot of CC, Gun flinching. If you're against, you know, uh, a lot of heavy poke, second is amazing, you know, short combos, stuff champions, bone plating. And if you really, really want to uh, be stronger, even like insanely strong in the mid game, this is the best build, right? Conditioning. But most of the time, I'll go bone plating for one reason, right? When you go this page, you're definitely gonna struggle in the early game because you can't even use the Conqueror bug until level 6. So burn plating will help you survive a lot longer and will let you be able to trade a bit more harder in the early game. And, you know, same as usual for the this part. I didn't talk about it in the previous page, but pretty much always want to go attack speed, adaptive force and armor. Um, if you're against magic damage, of course you get MR. Uh, you can go health if you're like, eh, I'm going to go Hullbreaker. I know I'm going to Hullbreaker no matter what. Let's go health. Um, you can, well, yeah. You can, if you want to as well, go Adaptive Force, but Attack Speed is really nice, so that's why I suggest, yeah. Yep. Now, I'll be talking about the final room page, which is the first strike, alright? Um, this is a much new room page, so I need to test it out, but from what I've played of it, it's very effective and very, very fun, you know? First strike allows you to get your items really quickly and you do a decent amount of damage uh, with it. It's 10%, you know, and it's true damage, so you can't prevent it, which is really, really nice. Your E and Goose pocket, so it's very easy to pocket. It's nice, yeah? Now, this is not very good against champions that obviously have a really easy way to hit you. So stuff like, you know, Zeref, uh, maybe Victor is E, it's super, it's not very good, right? But it's very amazing if you can consistently get off first strike against champions that you can bully around early. Like, you know, something like a, a Maokai, right? He'll struggle to hit you because, you know, no range abilities are on E, and E is very weird to hit. It's also, this is a perfect fit for Lethali Yorick, which if you opt for that build, which I'll explain in a later video, but because it's really complex, so I don't want to explain it in this video, yeah? It'll be too long. Okay, now. Let's talk about the tree of the inspiration, yeah? So, the first part, it's only a difference in footwear and stopwatch. I feel like Hextech Flash is sort of useless. I never go it. Um, it's just way too it's just way too hard to get off. You know, you know, us as Yorick, it's like, eh, meh. Magical footwear, you know, very nice. Um, you get boots for free, so you don't need to spend a 300 bucks. 10 extra movement speed? Which is really nice because Yorick is immobile and any bit of movement speed is always helpful, yeah? So, and you have the stopwatch. Uh, stopwatch is phenomenal. I love this item and I'll explain why, right? It's really good because it lets you do a lot of things. It lets, lets you make offensive plays and defensive plays, right? So you can, like, you know, dive people really, really aggressively from full HP and then stopwatch to remove aggro and it's really nice. When you're getting dived or something, they'll blow your their entire combo. Stopwatch, boom, immediately removed, and you can maybe get a kill or something. It's just overall a super amazing and a really fun uh, playmaking tool. I love it. And the second part, uh, it's really weird. These runes, Fuji's Marker, Mean Dematerialize. Uh, Fuji's Marker is sometimes viable, but 
it's just much easier to go biscuits. Biscuits is really nice. You can get a bit of extra sustain, a lot of extra mana, which is something uh, a few Yorks might struggle with. I struggle with it still. Uh, when you're playing the Thalia Yorick, you want to spam your E a lot, and if you miss it, you're eventually going to run out of mana, right? This will help. Especially the first strike when you want to eat a lot of people, okay? Now, this last tree, technically, you can. it's very flexible. If you want a current potion, you can grab this. You know, if you want to go for more flashy plays, go no go for more flash and TPs, you can use this. But, overall, I would suggest approach velocity. Uh, the reason for this is because it works with your E. So that means when you E someone, right? You can get that extra 15% movement speed, which is really, really big. You actually notice it when you play with a brush velocity, and it's just super strong, right? Now, combine this with a fire, the Yorick, right? Yeah, it's super fast and super devastating. Now, for this last part, I go between Domination and Resolve. Um, when I go Domination, I usually go something like, you know, Taste of Blood and Ingenious Hunter with Lethality Yorick specifically, okay? This is for the Lethality page. Um, Ingenious Hunter is just really good. It works with Power Score, which I go. Uh, Taste of Blood lets you sustain it early game. It works with Ghouls and E. Perfect. Yeah? But the overall most consistent page I would suggest everyone to go would be the Bone Plating and Demolish page. Um, I've explained it in the previous room pages, but overall, you know, Demolish, Break Towers, Bone Plating, because most of the time when you initiate, um, they'll have a little time to respond. And it'll be more effective because you have Bone Plating, right? You can't, they can't get you off. Very good, um, but yeah, uh, as usual, same runes. But for first strike, I highly going adapt. I highly suggest going adaptive forced over the other one instead of attack speed. The reason being, uh, when your ghouls jump, when you hit the E, uh, you will make use of this adaptive force because it will produce you more money. But you can definitely go attack speed. It doesn't matter. It depends what you prefer. Anyways, guys. That's it for the video. Um, please be sure to, you know, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out my Twitch. And remember, kids, could I play you something better?